Hi there, this is Elizabeth Rocha with Team Fuego Fit Nation. I wanted to take the time today to go over week two meal plan for the Shift Shop Challenge. I want to make sure that you guys have an understanding of the meal plan as far as, you know, the proteins and the carbs and all the fruits and the shopping list that was added to the My Challenge Tracker app. I also want to make sure that there, if there are any questions about the meal plan, maybe any substitutions that you need to make because you're allergic to certain foods, that you take a look at that before you start your week two, before you go shopping. And so that way you don't buy foods that you cannot eat and you are prepared for week two. That's the most important part of the nutrition plan when you're doing a program, that you are prepared for the week with the right foods in your home and you get rid of any temptations that may have crept into your home over the weekend. That way you start fresh. That way you have your meals to go and your snacks to go and your Shakeology ready to go for another week of the ship shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you my screen so that I can show you where the meal plan is for week two and also where you can find the shopping list, okay? You can print this out you can also message me so that I can email you the shopping list and the meal plan if you're not able to print it out off of your phone. Remember, you can just open it up and forward it to your email or text message it to yourself or take a screenshot of it and save it in your favorites in your phone, which is what I like to do. But the good thing about this um, app is that you can go into your app and view the program materials for Shift Shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you right now the meal plan that's in the, let's see here. Let's see, I wanna make sure that I share my screen so that you can see where you can find the meal plan and the shopping list for week two. Week one shopping list and meal plan are still in the file section, but you will not need these for week two because the meal plan does change and I will show you that. So here you have meal plan A week two, and you're going to click where it says view and download to be able to view the meal plan. Here you see that I have plan B week two. So make sure that when you are looking at the file, that it is the correct meal plan for your calorie plan. You're not recalculating. You're not switching your calorie plan from last week to this week. You stay in the same calorie plan from day one all the way until day 21. Okay, so here you have Mondays, right? Monday breakfast, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, you will be eating the same foods. This is why it's important to go shopping and to prepare your meals, take care of the meats and the veggies and the fruits, chop up, you know, your cucumbers and your lettuce and your tomatoes because that's what takes up more time during the week. That way you can just grab your portion control containers and measure the amount of food that goes with your specific meal. Um, I also wanted to point out that for dinner, dinner down here at the bottom, you do have the option of having grilled tilapia, grilled lamb, and it rotates. I know some of you may not like to eat lamb, and I want to remind you that you can go back to your food list. Go back to your food list and take a look at the different options that you have here for your proteins. I wanna recommend that you stick to the, the foods, the protein list that are at the top of the protein list. These have higher nutrients, higher nutritional value, and they're cleaner foods than the ones down at the bottom. Yes, down here it says protein powder. That is not you know, referring to Shakeology. Some people have some other protein powder so make sure that you are drinking your Shakeology during your snack so that you are not skipping any of the full meals that you see here in, well, actually that you see in your calorie plan. So again, if you're not a fan of lamb chops, please feel free to substitute it, substitute it with one of the foods that you had in week one for dinner, okay? But make sure that you are having the right amount of portions, you can use the 21 Day Fix Tracker app to keep track of your portions. You can also use the tally sheets that are provided for you 
in the nutrition guide so that you are not just guessing, okay, I'm probably having enough, maybe I'm, but guess what? After a couple of days of eyeballing it, you're probably over 200 calories a day or under 200. And those calories, that amount of food adds up at the end of the week, which can have an effect on your results. So if you want to see Maximum Results Team, I need you guys to follow the meal plan, how it is. If you do not do some of the foods or you're allergic to some of the foods, please make sure that you take a look at the food list. That, and you can actually find this in the... I'm going to go ahead and go to it so that you can see the Shift Shop program. You go to your Beachbody On Demand and you click on the Shift Simple Shift Nutrition Guide. And that's going to open up this here. Okay? It, the calendar is also in the Shift Shop program materials. You also have the agility markers. But right now this call, I just want to focus on our meal plan for week two. Okay, so this is plan B. This is the plan that I'm following for this program. And we have some that are following plan A and some that are following plan C and D. So the foods are the same. The only thing is it's, they vary depending on how many portions you have. And of course, you know, how, how often or when you're gonna eat certain foods, okay? So make sure to make the time today to go shopping Make that grocery list. I already prepared the shopping list for you, and you can find that here in the program materials in the file section of the Challenge Tracker app. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the shopping list for week two for meal plan B. But I did upload all the meal plans that are needed for everyone that's in the group. So you want to make sure that you take a look at that. Let's see. Okay, so here is week two plan B shopping list. As you can see, I included it at the title at the top. So please, please make sure that you're looking at the right shop, at the correct shopping list for your meal plan or else you're going to get too much food or not enough food. And we definitely don't want you struggling throughout the week. All right. So one more time, guys, if you are not a fan, like I said, this week we have at the bottom here, we have for dinner grilled lamb chops. Um, if you don't do pork or shrimp, guys, if you just don't add it to your meal plan because you, you don't know how to do it, ask, okay? Ask how to prepare, or you can even go to Pinterest or YouTube and see how you want to grill your shrimp. I recommend just grilling your shrimp with, you know, it says there the oil, olive oil, add some lemon and pepper to your shrimp. For the grilled tilapia, do the plain tilapia, no, no tortilla crusted on it, nothing on it. That way you can add your own flavors to it. You can bake it, you can grill it, but make sure that you use, you know, olive oil or coconut oil. And you can use lemon and some pepper also to, to give some more flavor to your tilapia and your other meats, the pork chops. And if you are having the lamb chops, great. Enjoy them, okay? But like I said here, just make sure you meal prep, portion out your vegetables and baggies, portion out your meats, um, cook a bunch of meat, all your meat, and put it in one container. Then, you know, as you go, it's already chopped up. It's already cooked. I like to cook for three days. So I'll cook the foods for Monday through Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, I'll cook the rest of the food. I just don't have enough space in my fridge. Now, for those of you that have kids, guys, look at everything that's here. Your kids eat eggs. They eat Greek yogurt. I'm pretty sure that they'll enjoy the pork chops. You know, they can also eat that stuff. If, and again, we do get to eat here for week two, okay? Remember, our starches start to go down, but we have higher protein and higher vegetable servings. So your, your starches here for this plan, you get a uh, baked potato. Awesome. That is so good. Your kids, you can ba bake them a potato. You can bake it in the oven. You can make it in the microwave or you can grill them outside which saves you more time. But kids love potatoes. Just make extra. You do not have to make extra food. Now, for example, if you're not gonna have lamb chops, do some ground turkey. You have the ground turkey and make some spaghetti for the kids and make sure you just add some vegetables, like maybe a salad or some carrots or cucumbers. Since you do have to chop up cucumbers, then just make more, you know? So again, you're not having to buy a lot of extra food. You're gonna spend less time, you're gonna save, I mean, you're gonna spend less money and save time if you do this today. 
okay? That way you're not like stressed about dinner, you're not stressed about what the kids are going to eat, and you're not stressed about staying on track because you're trying to figure out how many portions am I supposed to have for Monday and Tuesday? No, remember, it alternates. So as long as you do day, day one Monday and you do Tuesday, then the rest of the week just follows, okay? So make sure that, that you take a look at that. And for example, if you want to have, you know, pork chop at dinner and tilapia at, at lunch, there's nothing wrong with that. You can rotate that, but make sure that you're having the right amount of foods. Yes, please have your carbs when it's assigned because that is what's gonna help you get maximum results. This is only a 21 day program, guys. If you follow this, you are going to just, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna feel lighter, and you're gonna feel proud for actually saying, you know what, I did this 21 day challenge, I did it from home, I followed the meal plan, I knew how to, you know, I went shopping, and this will teach you what it takes to actually follow a meal plan and how you can start creating your own plans based on an amazing nutrition guide that we're provided with, right? So I wanted to also point out the carbs here. As you see in week one, they have a list of carbs that you can have for week one. In week two, they have a different list of carbs that you can have. Stick to those carbs, please. Please do not add week one carbs into week two. Your body is going through a transformation. Yes, you're going to feel maybe a little fatigue or a little lethargic. Guess what? It's because we fuel our body with all these breads and rice and grains and junk food that is not nourishing our body. So your body is like, where is this food at? But remember, it's junk food. It's not healthy food. So hang in there. Follow the carb list. Week one, that's done with. We're going into week two, so you want to make sure that you follow week two carb list. And week three, you'll see that there is, you get those options there. But right now, we're not going to worry about week three. We are in week two, and I want to make sure that you guys are aware of how to set up for a successful week. I've taken care of the meal planning for you. Your job now is to go shopping is to prepare your food, whether you do this for the next three days or you cook enough for the next week. If you have a spouse that's joining you in, then just make sure that you have the foods ready to go because that's gonna cut back on a lot of time. You're not gonna have to cook. There's no rice, there's no um, bread, there's no tortillas, there's none of that stuff that sometimes tends to take up more time and also doesn't give us the results that we're looking for. So, all right guys. Hope you have an amazing week too. I'm looking forward to seeing your results for week one. And remember, it is gonna be a challenge, but you are stronger than your challenges. Embrace them, embrace everything that you're learning, and don't forget to ask questions. We are here to help you be successful in your journey and to help you achieve those results, big time results. You guys have a great, have a great week and we'll see you in the group.